Hello boxing fans, let's talk about the champion who destroyed the challenger inside the ring. On November 22, 1986, the WBC World Heavyweight Champion Trevor Burbick with 34 wins, 23 knockouts, and 4 losses from Jamaica faced the challenger and undefeated Mike Tyson with 27 wins and 25 knockouts from the USA. Burbick got the WBC belt after he won against undefeated Pink Lawn Thomas via unanimous decision eight months ago. The champion Burbick will make his first title defense against the challenger and hard hitter Tyson. In the first round, the challenger landed heavy bombs on the champion. You get the idea now that Burbick can go here. Standing toe to toe is not the way right through him. Tyson with the left, so we'll be able to get underneath it. In the second round, the challenger quickly landed a big right hand and followed with the combinations to drop the champion onto the canvas for the first time in the fight. The challenger quickly makes it to his feet. And six, and seven, and eight, and he says he's okay. Mills the champion continued to land the heavy bombs. Tyson again, he knows he can hurt him any time. Left up, right hand, doing his holding off Mike with the left. And you see the light left. Instead he goes to the body downstairs, catches him with the right hand. With 42 seconds left, the challenger landed a huge left hook to the head of the champion and drop him for the second time in the fight. The champion trying to make his feet but is unable to make it. Referee Mills Lane have seen enough and waved the fight off, declaring Tyson a winner via technical knockout in round two. The challenger destroyed the champion in 2 minutes and 35 seconds in the second round, with two knockdowns to capture the WBC World Heavyweight belt. At the age of 20 years and 4 months, Tyson became the youngest heavyweight champion in the history of boxing.